Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to follow up with the most recent episode on repeated measures ANOVA and just go through what would happen if we added a between subjects variable to the mix. So we're going to have a factorial ANOVA of a mixed model design. As always I am using the most recent build of the program at time of recording and that is 1.6.6. This is a small iterative uh, build that uh, fixes some bugs and makes some general improvements to the world. 1.2.27 is still listed as their most stable build on their website jamovi.org. Okay so let's open some data and get right to it. Okay, so here we have the bugs data set uh, from the Ryan Wild and Christ 2013 paper about bugs and um, whether people are um, feeling good about that. And the rating here that you see in this data is how hostile uh, different types of uh, different people felt about different types of bugs, and we have two variables and and these are our repeated measure uh, variables here we have disgust and frightening so how disgusting and how frightening and so they were shown pictures of either disgusting and or frightening or not bugs in what what amounts to four different groups so we have disgust low and high so that's what this first L and H stand for, and then we have frightening, which we also have low and high. So we have a two by two uh, re repeated measures ANOVA factorial design that we could do with just these two variables. But what I wanted to add in here is gender. I wanted to do males versus females on this because I think that would be an interesting uh, addition to this analysis and it would allow me to show you what a mixed model looks like in J Jamovi. So let's go to ANOVA, repeated measures ANOVA, and it's going to open up the module for us. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab gender over here and put it in my between subjects factors. And so that's what's going to um, populate the uh, between subjects effects box here. Now I'm going to fill in my repeated measures boxes and I'm going to try to go in this order. So I'm going to do disgust then frightening or disgust and fright I think is what I had written down. So disgust is my first one and for level one and level two I'm going to put low and I'm going to put high because that's the order L and H go in. And now I'm going to add in uh, fright here. And that's going to open up level A and level B for me to distinguish it from the 1, 2, 3 of RM factor 1, which is discussed. Because you can see here it'll, it'll throw in there. Um, I'm also going to do low and high. And... Uh, because they have the same names to distinguish low, the previous low uh, in disgust from the low and high in fright, it puts a two next to it just so you can kind of tell. Um, but here's where I want to show you low, 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 high, high, low, high, high, low, 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 high, high, low, high, high. So all I have to do is click here and hold shift down and click at the end of the list and click this button and we'll it will put it all in the right cells for me and then here we go it populates my within subjects effects box and my between subjects effects box and because we have a between subjects factor here the within subjects effects table changes a little bit so we get our main effect for the disgusting variable so if something is low disgusting or high disgusting um, we also get, uh, using the same error term for disgust, we get the disgust by gender interaction. Same thing here with fright. We get fright main effect across this row, and then we get, using the same error term, we get fright by gender as our uh, between subjects effects. And here we have the remaining two interaction terms. We have the 
uh, repeated measures two-way interaction here, and then we have the mixed three-way interaction using the same error term here. And you get all of our get all of your degrees of freedom and all of that information, and you get Fs and Ps, and we see what uh, what goes along here. And what it looks like is that there is a, a definite main effect of disgusting bugs and hostility towards them, and we'll have to look to see what's going on there. There appears to be no disgust by gender hostility, which is a bummer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put hostility here, uh, whether that has any help, helpful information to it or not. Doesn't really uh, matter here. Let's get the uh, partial eta squareds and uh, eta, eta squareds here, and you can see how they change based on what we're doing. There appears to be no discussed by gender interaction. There is a frightening interaction. So uh, uh, things are low frightening or high frightening, it depends on hostility towards them. There is no fright by gender interaction. Disgust by fright looks to be like there is a small interaction here. Kind of a kind of small doesn't really have a large effect associated with it. And then the three way interaction discussed by fright by gender also has a seemingly small ish interaction. Um, these appear to be the exact same uh, these the exact same uh, figures. So I don't know if that's. Uh, an issue with the data set or what, but they appear to be the exact same thing, which is odd. Now, in the between subjects effects, we have the gender and its and its error term, and you can see that it is not at all significant here. F is below one or just about one, and P is a hefty 0.32. Uh, we can um, go into model term and uh, get our uh, main effects and interactions all lined up. Uh, so we have discuss fright and discuss by fright, and then we have gender. And by default, because gender exists only by itself as a between subjects component, by default, this does get um, added as a interaction term for all three by default. Uh, we can go into assumption checks uh, and get sphericity checks for f disgust and fright and disgust by fright. And it doesn't look like there is an issue with sphericity anyway, so we don't need this. But we do get to check homogeneity tests here. And uh, we get to check whether or not across gender there's any issue with our... Um, hostility ratings, and it doesn't look like we have any issues in uh, variance uh, with our ratings. So that's good. Post hoc tests. This is a two by two by two, so you don't generally need post hoc tests. Um, you could if you wanted to look at the. Uh, oops, no, I just want to look at discussed by fright. But really. Um, with a two by two by two, what you're looking at, what you're looking for is the marginal mean. So we can put uh, disgust in here. We can put disgust in, and, and gender in here. And, and we can then add uh, the disgust by fright uh, in the same box. And I'm not going to add any more. That, that, I think that's fine. We'll do standard error for our error bars. And we will also get our marginal means tables. And then options is just the group summary. So if I check on that, check that. I don't think we get much information on group summary, just how many males and females there were in the group and how many were excluded because they were had missing values. And here we have the discussed by fright interaction showing up. And um, this will give you a peek at... Uh, what the effect so it looks like we have an ordinal interaction here where um when uh when disgust is low and fright is low they're like um happy little bugs we we like them i guess is what they're trying to say where there's not much movement for frightening uh, hostility for frightening bugs, regardless of what kind of bugs they are. But once you get into a high disgust situation, even if they are low frightening, it's like, ooh, got to kill that bug. Okay, so that's what the data here is really showing. And those are the options for a repeated measures ANOVA, but a mixed model ANOVA.
If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more. And please leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.